Two rowers who are attempting to become the fastest and youngest two-man team to cross the Atlantic have set an unexpected world record. Tom Rainey and Lawrence Walters rode 112 and a half nautical miles in 24 hours, breaking the existing Guinness World Record by nearly 10 nautical miles. The pair, who are en route from New York to Sulcombe in Devon, are now waiting for validation of their achievement, which has been just one of a series of adventures so far. Spotlight's John Ayres has been following their progress. Tom and Lawrence set off from New York at the beginning of last month. If they make it, they'll be the youngest crew ever to have rode the Atlantic from mainland to mainland USA to the UK. But they've had problems, including enormous waves and an eddy current, which, as their GPS tracker shows, has had them looping in the same area in the ocean. A big wind came in that's pushing us back to America. We put the sea anchor down. Um, we didn't know that we put the sea anchor into a, a, a big current that was going south. So we put the sea anchor down, went to sleep, and woke up the next day and we were 60 miles south and then started going southwest and west and we just went around circles. For his family waiting back home in Sulcombe, it's a testing time. Very hard and challenging, especially the last 10 days, which have been excruciating. For us on land, let alone for them. We weren't really prepared for him to go through this. We knew, knew it was going to be a difficult test to, to row across the Atlantic, but you know, to be stuck in these conditions at the same time with 70 foot waves, um, it's been very trying. Whatever happened, he's just desperate to keep going. His biggest fear is not completing. Um, you know, he could come across obviously 70 foot waves, which he's been dealing with, and obviously the horrendous currents and the big eddy he's stuck in. Um, but here, icebergs, but his biggest fear is not completing. Tom is doing this challenge in memory of his father, Luke, who died as a result of a brain tumour in 2012. In fact, it's thoughts of his father that's driving him on. Yeah, yeah, the memory of my dad, uh, Luke, he's the best dad we ever had. So all memories of him, most nights I think, by him are very, but obviously, yeah, he keeps it going. Tom's family now have to wait patiently. The rowers are hoping to raise a quarter of a million pounds for the Brain Tumour Charity. They're unlikely to break the record for the fastest crossing, but they're still hoping to be the youngest to complete it. John Ayres, BBC Spotlight, Salcombe. Yeah, they're having quite an adventure, aren't they? Aren't they, I wish them well. Now,